Hey, what's up? This is Ace and welcome to part 9 of this Mugen character creation tutorial. In today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to make your character snap, vanish, or teleport. So what you want to do is first go to the animation file, like I already did here. And you want to locate the animation to 150, the standing strong kick. And after you do that, you want to click this plus sign right here. And you want to add another animation to your animation file. And where it says name, you just want to name it teleport or snap vanish. It doesn't really need a name, but it just helps with organizing your character. And for the beginning action number, just type in 260. After you type in 260, you are going to need to import some teleporting sprites. All right, so I just imported a group of teleporting sprites. I have a sprite where Venom is kind of phasing and then he fades even more and more. And then I press the plus sign right here to add an invisible frame, like an empty frame. So it looks like he's gone for a minute. And after I did that, I just reversed that spriting order. So it's gonna look like he disappears and then he comes back. After you do that, you want to press play, make sure he looks like he's actually teleporting in a way, and you want to go to the CNS file. When you go to the CNS file, you want to go down to state 250, and you want to just copy it, state 250, and you want to paste it down below. You want to make sure that they are still divided. Uh, so you want to make sure that it's still divided so it's easy to recognize which state is what. So make sure you still copy and paste this line over. After you do that, you're gonna need to rename the standing strong kick to make it say teleport, like I did right there. And you wanna change the state def to 260 and then the animation to 260 and the state to 260 as well. In here, you also want to change the move type from a capital A to an I. And you could just delete Velset, and you can also delete Juggle. After you do this, you're going to need to make a command for it. So just go to your command file, go to where it says standing strong kick, copy that, and paste it below. All right, and after you do that, you want to change the value from 250 and 260. Now at this point, you also need to change the command. I made a combo for the standing light punch, the standing medium punch, and the standing strong punch. So I'm going to just make it so that the command for the teleporting animation is the one that would have been for the standing strong punch. So I'm going to put in Z because that's a command that's not being used for my character. And I'm also gonna rename this standing strong kick to teleport. I'm also gonna rename the gray area too. All right, and after that's settled, let's open them up in Mucan to make sure that the animation actually works. All right, so the animation is actually happening, but he's not going anywhere because we still need to add another block of code. I'm also gonna change the power add to zero so he's not getting any power from teleporting. After you test out your character to make sure that this animation actually works, you wanna go to the right and choose pause add and delete the Y axis and then ignore hit pause and the persistent. And here we go, the trigger one. For the trigger one equals, I'm gonna make that anim ELEM equals, and then that frame, the invisible frame. So the invisible frame appears on the fourth frame, so I'm gonna put equals four. All right, so now we have our pause add, we got rid of the Y axis, and now we just have X equals zero. The more positive this number is, the further forward he will teleport, and the more negative it is, the further back he will teleport. So for instance, if it's uh, 50 or 500 even. And you use the move, he teleports really far in front. But if it's negative 500, he 
it teleports backwards. There's also a way to make it so that your character teleports right behind the opponent. And how to do this is you go to the x equals and you want to put p2 body dist. So player 2 body distance. And you want to put a x, a capital X, and you want to put uh, a plus 45. And you open it up. And this makes it so that no matter where the opponent is, you can teleport within 45 pixels of them. Which is really convenient. Uh, you could experiment with this number in case you want them to teleport in front of or behind of your opponent. So you could put 100 and test that out. And it's pretty legit. For my character, however, he's kind of far away to do any attacks except for that. So there you go. That's how you basically do the teleportation for your character. You can also add some collision boxes to him. Usually I add collision boxes to the first few frames and to the last couple of frames. So let me do that real quick for an example. All right, so I added a few collision boxes to his teleportation animation. And um, as you can see, it doesn't really have many so this move might be a little too overpowered. So in order to combat this, I need to go to the command file. I need to go to where the teleportation command is, which is the, let's see, let me update the list. I'm gonna double click on teleport, and here it is, value equals 260. I want to add a trigger all underneath the value equals power is greater than or equal to 250 so your character won't be able to use this move unless he has power equal to or greater to 250 so if we were to open up a Mugen he can't use this power but if he has full power now he can use it to make it so when he uses this move he loses 250 power all you do is go to the CNS file go to where it says power add and you put negative 250 and now when you open him up in Mugen and he has full power and you do the teleportation move his power goes down All right, so that's pretty much all there is to it when it comes to teleportation. I've gone over basically all I know when it comes to teleportation except for the y-axis, but I'll cover that in another video. One more thing I wanna change with my character is I wanna make it so that when he teleports, he looks dark. He doesn't just look purple like how he does right here. So I'm gonna go to where it says trans on the side of the animation file, and I'm gonna type in a capital S, and I'm gonna apply it to all the frames. And now here's what he would look like. Now it looks like he's actually teleporting like out of nowhere, like it's dark and pretty ominous and I really like that. So anyways, this concludes my video. If you enjoyed this tutorial, if it helped you out at all, then please drop a like, leave a comment, let me know what you would like to know in the next video. New tutorials coming out every Monday. Uh, like I said before, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Please be sure to have an amazing day. Peace.